Okay, this is my Raspberry Pi 4, and uh, I've seen a lot of videos about uh, Raspberry Pi being used as a desktop replacement. And I think with its stock, without any cooling uh, and without an SSD, I don't know if I'd want to use it as my main desktop. But actually now, uh, I've been playing around with it, it's, uh, it's overclocked to 2147 megahertz. Uh, it's got a fan shim on it to cool it down. Uh, it's got an SSD driving the operating system and it's an absolute pleasure to use. I'll just start it up and I'll show you how quick it's now got. Okay, so I'll switch it on just to show you how quick it boots up. Okay, so I'll switch over to screen capture now because it will look a lot better. Okay, so we're all booted up. I just wanted to run through uh, just how nice it feels really. So let's click on the web browser and get that up and let's do a few things that you might ordinarily do. So say for instance you're going to check the weather, uh, say for instance you go to BBC and I would imagine weather comes up here somewhere, oh there you go. Look. So I can click on weather, you can see that page loaded up really quite quickly. Uh, let's go back to that page because uh, there's quite a few images on there and it didn't struggle to load it and in previous videos I've done with Raspbian that process was a bit slow. Uh, so let's open a, another web page because we, like, we always like to have lots of tabs open uh, and you can see that that comes up nicely. But let's say I need to do a bit of work, create a document, a bit of homework or something like that if you're, if you're in uh, if you're studying. So there's a full office suite in here. This is all free. This all comes with Raspbian. If I click on writer, this is a kind of word equivalent. Um, but I've decided that I want to use uh, the equivalent of PowerPoint, which is Impress. So I've got both of them open now. Doesn't matter that I've got several things open at once. Four gig of RAM is enough for this. So I don't want this bottom one. So I'm going to right click and cut that. Uh, I want to put a picture in there, but I haven't got the picture yet. So I'm going to go back to the web browser and search for what I want. Uh, so if I look for my logo, if I hit images, click on my logo, right click and save image as. Let's call that SP video. You can see it's not, it just isn't slow. Uh, so. Ah, there was already a, a previous one that I've done on, a, on another video. So that's saved the logo. So if I want to put that in Impress and insert a image, find that and hit open. There you go. And if I want to resize that, I can drag it down. I can move it around the page. I can change this title. Uh, I can then save that document, uh, but I won't bother saving it because I don't need it. Uh, go back through the web pages, you can see that it's not struggling. Uh, things are still staying loaded up. You can see a load of my videos here. If you want to see about how you overclock this, I have a video, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, if you want to see how uh, about the fan shim, which is what cools it if you're overclocking, I'll put that in there as well. Um, and, uh, and also about the SSD, I've done a, a video on that as well. So those three things make your Pi way better. Uh, it completely changes the Pi, plus the fact that this uh, Raspbian keeps getting updated and the newer update. Previously, I didn't like the mouse control in it. It wasn't very fluid, and now it's 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 completely fluid. It just feels like you're using it on a on a much higher end computer, so it doesn't struggle at all. Uh, while I've got that open, let's go into graphics. And uh, if you like messing around with photos uh, or images, this is a bit like Photoshop. Uh, so if I open up my logo, and then I go to colors and invert, you can see you can play around with that. I'll leave that open as well. Uh, other things, if you are looking for different software to put on it, uh, there is one that um, Raspberry Pi recommended software. There's a few things in there, but that's more about adding and removing programs. If I go to add, remove software, this is where you find various different programs for different tasks. Uh, and this is all, all free from what I can see. So if I wanted something multimedia, I can click on there. Uh, and you just click on whichever one you want. So you have a look through. You can also do a search. 
um, because some of this uh, you might not understand what it is. I certainly don't understand what some of them are. Uh, if I go to games, I'm going to know what they are. Uh, so say, for instance, uh, what have we got here? So chase action game. If you click on that uh, and click OK, uh, then that uh, it would require your password. I haven't changed mine, so it's... Oh, no, I have changed mine, actually. It would normally be Raspberry, but I changed mine to a four-figure. Yeah, uh, so that's downloading. So all these things open at once. That's while it's downloading in the background. Let's go back to the BBC web page. Let's have a look and see what uh, sports going on. Uh, and you can see that it still it loads up those images really quite quickly. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. It's uh, it just keeps getting better. Uh, I don't know if it will play that video. You probably have to log into BBC to be able to play that. But uh, but yeah. So. I really think this is a desktop replacement. Obviously, it depends what you do with a computer. You know, I, I do a lot of video editing, and so I can't use this for video editing. But I could, I could easily create uh, thumbnails for videos and and uh, create uh, scripts and text and things like that. Not that I do a lot of scripts. I usually try and do it, do it live. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I am really impressed. Uh, the the Pi just keeps getting better. And obviously as the software improves, it's gonna get faster and faster. I don't know if you're gonna be able to overclock it more than uh, it's clockable at the moment, but, uh, but it's always interesting to find out. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.